An election. The intellection, okay. Yep. Yeah, okay. And then and then learner. learner achiever. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A ranger. And whoa! Yes, that's yeah, correct. that's me. So what are we gonna to do today? Let's talk. Yeah, so we're going to have a strengths coaching session today to talk okay. a little bit about your strengths. We see strengths as a tool on the journey for purpose here at WVU. So can you talk to me a little bit about your journey for purpose and where you've seen your strengths show up? Having a sense of purpose may be the most driving issue in my life. I know that when I wake up in the morning, if I'm doing my work well, uh, that I'll make a difference in people's lives. I saw your an election come out there a yeah. little bit. You like to reflect. Can you talk a little bit about how you keep that in perspective? How you take time to reflect? Because you're so busy. How do you make time for well, that? Well, I think that I'm busy with a purpose. I think that that's important. But uh, what I'm really trying to do is trying to identify areas which the university itself can make a difference. And so you have Learner in your top five. I do. And there are lots of people on this campus that also have Learner in their mm-hmm. top five. Talk to me a little bit about how you use your Learner to kind of continue that that self-growth journey. Yeah, learner to me is about curiosity Mm -hmm. and and I think that curiosity is an important component of what I should be doing and how I should be acting. You're also an achiever and achiever is really common on this campus. You'll be unsurprised to learn. I think also that achievers are people who want to do something because of the fact that they think it's important think that what you should be trying to do is achieving a role in which you can make a difference in in others' lives or, or, and also make a difference in your own life. I want to make sure that my achievements are laced with a good dose of humility. Yeah, and so let's talk about your woo. I know it's your favorite. Um, it is, <laughs> it favorite. is, yes. Let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, what, what what excites you about your woo? What gives you energy? Well, you know, I love people. I love doing what I do. My daughter always t- says that, you know, my idea of a quiet evening at home is having 500 people for dinner. And that's about right. I love the public nature of, of being a public university president. It's never going to be perfect, right? You can work on your strengths your entire life. How do you continue to work on these strengths? I think they give you a forward momentum because you, if, if this is who you are, then you want to be really cognizant of how they can be helpful to you and you be helpful to others. Running a university is a mosaic. We need to have people of different strengths, but we need to work together. And so I think that this, this notion of constantly working on your strengths, but also balancing them with the fact that there are other people who have real strengths that will fill the gaps in your life. What would you say to somebody who's just starting to discover their strengths and yeah, maybe aren't I'd sure say, about I'd them? Say, first of all, discover your strengths and be who you are. And if you've got some things that are of concern to you, then work on them. But be confident in who you are. Well, I really appreciate that that you spent time with me today to do this and also took time for yourself to talk a little bit about yourself and your strengths and how they inspire you and can inspire others. And I hope that others will take advantage of opportunities like this to be able to be coached. We want everyone to because we want to be a strengths university. How do you hope that we use strengths to inspire purpose, both on the campus and the state? This is a land grant university. Our role in the world is to not be isolated or arrogant. Our role in the world is to make a difference in the lives of 1.8 million West Virginians every day. If you think of the university having strengths, Mm -hmm. I think that that notion of being committed as citizens of this state to making every citizen of the state have a better life. And that to me is, is the ultimate goal. Did I pass? You did pass. Yeah, there's no pass or fail. I know. It's really about you.